All right, so we've been asked to find uh, the complement and the supplement of an angle measuring 55 degrees. And just so that uh, we're all on the same page, a complement is a pair of angles whose sum is 90 degrees. It's two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So if I want to find the complement of 55 degrees, I can write an equation, and it's 55 plus x equals 90. And then I can solve that equation for x simply by removing 55 from both sides. Okay, so a little bit of algebra review here too. So I end up with x equals 90 minus 55, and of course x equals 35 degrees. Okay, so that's the complement of 55. The supplement is very similar to the complement. The difference is supplements are two angles that sum to 180. They make a straight angle. So complements make a right angle. Supplements make a straight angle. So the supplement of 55, very similarly, we write an equation, 55 plus x, and this time it's equal to 180. And again, subtract 55 from both sides, so we end up with 180 minus 55. And most people skip this first step and go straight to here, and that's fine. Uh, and 180 minus 55 is 125 degrees. Okay, so that's the supplement of 55 degrees. Uh, another basic angle problem that we want to work on today um, is finding the measure of the given angles. And this is, we can do this with complements or supplements. We have two angles, both are unknown, and they're shown in a particular figure, like in this case, they're shown to be complements. Okay, they're shown to be complements because they sum to 90. And so again, we'd say 2r plus 3r equals 90, 5r equals 90, and of course that gives us r equals 18 degrees. Okay, r equals 18 degrees. Okay, and um, where a lot of people make a mistake is, is differentiating between algebra and trigonometry. Um, in algebra we get so used to saying, oh here's our answer. But read the question, it doesn't ask you for the value of r. It actually asks you for the value of the two angles. Well, the two angles are 2r and 3r. Well, 2r is going to be 2 times 18, okay, which is 36 degrees. And 3r is going to be 3 times 18, which is 54 degrees. Okay, so 36 and 54 degrees. So these are your actual final answers, 36 degrees and 54 degrees. Okay, so one other type of angle problem we want to work with, um, which is near and dear to my heart, which is degrees, minutes, and seconds. This tends to be used a lot in civil engineering, surveying, uh, things of that nature. Okay, um, and this is um, adding degrees, minutes, and seconds, uh, and subtracting degrees, minutes, and seconds. And uh, in this case, we're just using degrees and minutes. Um, and we'll talk more about seconds in another video. Okay. And um, so to perform each calculation, basically, uh, this is very much like addition and subtraction that we had in, in elementary school, um, except we have two units instead of one. And so we have some, some different types of carries. So I'm going to start with problem A here. Uh, I'm adding 28 degrees and 35 minutes to 63 degrees and 52 minutes. And so the way we do this is we say 28 degrees, 35 minutes, plus 63 degrees, 52 minutes, okay? And this is the equivalent of saying five inches plus 10 inches makes 15 inches. Well, 15 inches is bigger than a foot, and so, of course, we would carry some over here into the foot column. Very similar to that. And so I say, okay, what is 35 plus 52? And I get 87, okay? That's 87 minutes. And then 28 plus 63 is 91 degrees. And over here, I'm just gonna make a little notation, which is 60 minutes is one degree. And that's something that, if you're gonna work with angles, you absolutely need to know that. 60 minutes is equal to one degree. And so what I do mentally, I don't always show this work, but I'm going to show it to you guys, um, is I break 87 into two numbers, which is 60 plus 27, okay? 
So 60 minutes plus 27 minutes. This 60 minutes is going to come over here as 1 degree. And so what I actually end up with is 92 degrees 27 minutes. Okay, Because 60 minutes is equal to 1 degree, I take that 60 and bring it over into the degrees column. Okay, So that's the first one. The second one, just to make sure you can work with degrees, minutes, and seconds, um, 180 degrees minus 117 degrees in 21 minutes. Very similar to an addition problem. I'm going to say 180 degrees minus 117 degrees, and then 0 minutes minus 21 minutes. And very similar to elementary school subtraction. Um, I can't take 0 and take 21 away from it. So what I have to do is I have to borrow. So I say this is 179 degrees. I'm going to borrow 1 degree. But 1 degree, remember, is equal to 60 minutes. And so this becomes 60 minutes. So then I say, okay, what's 60 minus 21? It's 39 minutes. And what's 179 minus 117 is uh, 62 degrees. Okay, 62 degrees. And so we end up with an answer of 62 degrees 39 minutes. Okay, so that's very basic computations with uh, angles and such. And uh, if you have any questions, Please let me know.